Hello and welcome to Vision of Asia, the news you can trust in events that move and celebrate our very own South Asian community. I am Pia Jyoti Khatru coming to you from our ITV Gold studio in New Jersey. In the headlines today, PM Modi inaugurates Pradhan Mantri Sangrale. U.S. announces additional USD 800 million military aid, heavy weapons to Ukraine. U.S. extends travel mask mandate until May 3rd, according to CDC. Our feature today is on India-U.S. 2 plus 2 meetings and Biden-Modi virtual meeting. 2022 New York International Auto Show returns to Javits Center in Manhattan after two years. Aladdin Broadway's Iago Don Daryl Rivera pays tribute to Gilbert Gottfried at Curtain Call. Ranbir Kapoor, Alia Bhatt are officially husband and wife as the wedding ceremony concludes. PM Modi inaugurates Pradhan Mantri Sangrale. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday inaugurated the Pradhan Mantri Sangrale, a museum dedicated to the country's all prime ministers since independence. Notably, before the inauguration, Prime Minister Modi bought the first ticket to make his way inside the museum. Guided by the vision of Prime Minister Modi to honor the contribution of all the prime ministers of India towards nation building, the Pradhan Mantri Sangrale is a tribute to every Prime Minister of India since independence, irrespective of their ideology or tenure in the office, Prime Minister's office press release stated. Further, it was informed that the Sangrale is an inclusive endure led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi aimed at sensitizing and inspiring the younger generation about the leadership, vision and achievements of all Indian Prime Ministers. Representing a seamless blend of the old and the new, the Sangrale integrates the erstwhile Teen Murti Bhavan designated as Block 1 with the newly constructed building designated as Block 2. The total area of the two blocks is over 15,600 square meters, the Prime Minister said. The design of the museum building is inspired by the story of rising India, shaped and molded by the hands of its leaders. The design incorporates sustainable and energy conservation practices. No tree has been felled or transplanted during the course of the work on the project. The logo of the Sangrale represents the hands of the people of India holding the Dharma Chakra, symbolizing the nation and democracy. U.S. President Joe Biden on Wednesday said that his administration will provide Ukraine with an additional 800 million U.S. dollars worth of military aid, including heavy artillery, as Washington anticipated a wider assault by Russia in eastern Ukraine. As Russia prepares to intensify its attack in the Donbass region, the United States will continue to provide Ukraine with the capabilities to defend itself. Biden said in a statement after a phone call with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, will contain many of the highly effective weapon systems we have already provided and new capabilities tailored to the wider assault as we expect Russia to launch in eastern Ukraine, Biden said. These new capabilities include artillery systems, artillery rounds and armored personnel carriers. I have also approved the transfer of additional helicopters. He said, adding that the United States will continue to facilitate the transfer of significant capabilities from its allies and partners around the world. The United States has committed $1.7 billion in security assistance to Ukraine since Russia began its special military operation. Russian Foreign Ministry said on Wednesday that Moscow has added 398 members of the United States Congress to its travel ban list. In response to another wave of anti-Russian sanctions imposed by the administration of Joe Biden on March 24th of this year against 328 lawmakers of the state Duma, which constitutes almost its entire composition, mirror sanctions are introduced against 
398 members of the House of Representatives of the U.S. Congress, the ministry said in a statement, according to Russian media. The ministry added that Russia plans to expand its travel ban list in the near future. U.S. extends travel mask mandate until May 3rd, according to CDC. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention announced on Wednesday that it's extending its COVID-19 mask mandate for public transportation and airplanes until May 3rd. The CDC mask order remains in effect while CDC assesses the potential impact of the rise of cases on severe disease, including hospitalization and deaths and healthcare system capacity. Transportation Security Administration will extend the Security Directive and Emergency Amendment for 15 days through May 3, 2022, the statement said. The Biden administration has extended the order several times as it has struggled to react to COVID-19 and a range of variants. The order comes as more than 20 states report increases in infections fueled by the BA2 variant, a highly transmissible strain, but also a corresponding fall in the hospitalizations. The order requires persons to wear masks over the mouth and nose when traveling on any public conveyance into or within the United States and also while they are in or using transportation hubs. The order has faced a host of legal challenges and significant pushback from government officials, businesses and ordinary Americans after the CDC updated its guidance to reflect the changing issue on the ground and outline spaces where Americans did not need to wear masks. Earlier this year, the CEOs of the major American airlines penned a letter to the administration asking it to end the mask requirement on airplanes. The signatories complained that their employees have to bear the unenviable task of enforcing the mask mandate and dealing with increasingly hostile passengers. Our feature today is on India, US 2 plus 2 meetings and Biden-Modi virtual meeting. U.S. President Joe Biden said that the United States is committed to strengthening the defense, economic and people-to-people -people ties with India to together seek a peaceful and prosperous world. Biden spoke to Prime Minister Narendra Modi in a virtual meeting on Monday ahead of the 2 plus 2 dialogue between the two countries. In a virtual meeting with Prime Minister Modi, Biden said that he's looking forward to meeting him during quadrilateral security dialogue summit in Japan on May 24th. Biden said the U.S. and India share a strong and growing major defense partnership. We take the same concerns about the global challenges we face for COVID-19, advancing health security and tracking the climate crisis, and we share a strong and growing major defense partnership, he added. The U.S. president also referred to the Ukraine conflict and said India and U.S. will continue close consultation on how to manage the destabilizing effects of Russian war. I want to welcome India's humanitarian support for the people of Ukraine who are suffering a horrific assault, including a tragic shelling in a train station last week that killed dozens of innocent children and women and civilians attempting to flee the violence, he said. Biden said at the root of the bilateral partnership is a deep connection between our people, ties of the family of friendship and of shared values. In a major shift in its tone on India's energy imports from Russia, the United States on Monday said that energy imports are not banned from Russia and New Delhi is not violating U.S. sanctions. This came shortly after Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday held a virtual meeting with United States President Joe Biden. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said the call between the two leaders was constructive and direct. This was a constructive call. It was a productive call. It is a relationship that's vitally important to the United States and to the President. I would not see it as an adversarial call, the White House spokesperson added. Answering a question on whether Biden pushed India to limit Russian energy, Saki said, energy imports are not banned and they do not violate our sanctions. 
we certainly recognize that every country is going to take a step in their interest. New York International Auto Show returns to Javits Center Manhattan after two years. The last minute postponement, then cancellation of the 2021 New York International Auto Show left many shoppers and enthusiasts hungry for the chance to experience all of the new vehicles on the market. One year later, the show returns to the Big Apple to satiate that hunger with a full menu of vehicle debuts and interactive activities to engage a diverse group of showgoers from the adventure-oriented to the family-focused and electric vehicle curious. ITV Gold's talented cameraman and producer Raja Bhatti and Jim Galantine covered the preview event. The show will open to public this Friday, April 15th and runs through April 24th at the Jacob Javits Center, Manhattan. The city that never sleeps will shine a spotlight on two vehicle categories for the 2022 show, SUVs and EVs. Highlight among the full list of vehicles are a pair of refreshed three-row SUVs from the related brands Kia and Hyundai. The show will open to public this Friday, April 15th and runs through April 24th at the Jacob Javits Center, Manhattan. The city that never sleeps will shine a spotlight on two vehicle categories for the 2022 show, SUVs and EVs. Highlights among the full list of vehicles are a pair of refreshed three-row SUVs from related brands, Kia and Hyundai. And for city dwellers looking to escape the urban jungle, Nissan will show off its off-road-oriented family hauler. Battery-powered vehicles from household names including Kia, Volkswagen and Nissan along with lesser-known automakers like Winfast will also take their bows. Plus, an EV dedicated section and test track will serve to educate the public about battery-powered options allowing showgoers to experience many of them firsthand in family and adventure SUVs the Hyundai Palisade and Kia Telluride are getting a refresh of 2023 and the pair are making their debuts in New York Hyundai teased the updated 2023 Palisade revealing a facelift with a wider grille and new headlights and according to Kia's teaser the 2023 Telluride gets improved capability a new X-Pro model and technology upgrades. The desire for rugged SUVs is alive and well, leading to a surge of new adventure-inspired trims. Nissan is joining in with the 2023 Pathfinder Rock Creek, set to be introduced at the show. The Rock Creek variant will be offered exclusively with four-wheel drive and features an off-road tuned suspension, unique front-end styling and 18-inch wheels with all-terrain tires. In electric vehicles, present and future all-new battery-powered vehicles will take center stage at the New York show. The 2023 Kia Nero is expected to debut with redesigned versions of its hybrid, plug-in hybrid and all-electric models. The Nissan Leaf was one of the first all-electric vehicles on the market. Now, Nissan gave the all-electric hatchback a mild refresh for 2023 before it goes on sale for the new model year. The 2023 Leaf will arrive in New York sporting new front-end styling and a new wheel design. In addition to current models, a handful of future EVs will convene at the show. Volkswagen will give attendees a closer look at the ID, bus, and electrified version of the iconic microbus we saw in Detroit in 2017. Chrysler will bring its all-electric airflow concept SUV into New York following its debut at the Consumer Electronics Show in January. And a fresh face to make an appearance at the show is WinFast. The all-electric brand will showcase its two inaugural SUVs, the two-row VF8 and three-row VF9. The Vietnamese-based automaker reportedly plans to produce its EVs and batteries in North Carolina. EV test track showgoers interested in learning more about all-electrics can take a ride in the handful of battery-powered models. 
An entire floor dedicated to EVs will include a test track for multiple brands. On-site test vehicles are slated to include the Chevrolet Bolt EV, Kia EV6, Nissan Leaf, Winfast VF8, VW ID4, and Volvo XC40 Recharge Twin. Uh, hi there, my name is Drew. I'm a product specialist with Toyota, and we have an awful lot of exciting things here to show off at the New York International Auto Show. Behind me right here, this is Toyota's first all-electric vehicle in many years. It is called the BZ4X. Now, BZ stands for Beyond Zero, as in zero emissions, and the 4X stands for 4x4, because this vehicle will be available either front or all-wheel drive. Now, this electric vehicle is launching this spring, it's going to have a starting price of only $42,000, available front or all-wheel drive, and we will have two trim levels. There will be an XLE as well as a Limited on this BZ4X. It is also eligible for those tax credits for battery electric vehicles, so be sure to check out the BZ4X. Aladdin's Broadway. Iago Don Darrell's Riviera pays tribute to Gilbert Gottfried at Curtain Call. Last night at Aladdin on Broadway, the production's original and continuing Iago, Don Darrell Rivera, paid tribute to Gilbert Gottfried during the show's Curtain Call after it was announced yesterday that Gottfried had passed away. Gottfried indelibly voiced the character of Iago in the 1992 animated film Aladdin. Aladdin, the hit musical based on the Academy Awards, winning animated film opened on Broadway at the New Amsterdam Theatre to critical acclaim on March 20, 2014 and quickly established itself as one of the biggest new blockbusters in recent years, breaking 14 new Amsterdam theatre house records. Worldwide, it has welcomed more than 14 million people and can be seen currently on Broadway in Tokyo, the Netherlands, Mexico City and Stuttgart. Produced by Disney Theatrical Productions under the direction of Thomas Schumacher, the show features music by Tony Awards and eight-time Oscar winner Alan Menken, lyrics by two-time Oscar winner Howard Ashman, three-time Tony Award and three-time Oscar winner Tim Rice and six-time Tony Award nominee Chad Begulin with a book by Begulin and is directed and choreographed by Tony Award winner Cassie Nicola. Aladdin adapted from the animated Disney film and centuries-old folk tales including 1001 Nights is brought to fresh theatrical life in this bold new musical. Aladdin's journey sweeps audiences into an exciting world of daring adventure, classic comedy and timeless romance. This new production features a full score, including the five cherished songs from the Academy Award winning soundtrack and more written especially for the stage. The animated film Aladdin was released by Disney in 1992 and was critical and box office smash, becoming the highest grossing film of the year. The film won the Oscar for Best Original Score and introduced the hit song A Whole New World, which won the second of the film's two Academy Awards as the best original song. Ranbir Kapoor, Alia Bhatt are officially husband and wife as the wedding ceremony concludes. Tinseltown's most anticipated wedding is finally over as Ranbir Kapoor and Alia Bhatt have tied the knot and are now officially husband and wife. The intimate wedding ceremony took place in the presence of family members and close friends including Neetu Kapoor, Ridhima Kapoor Sahani, Karina Kapoor Khan, Karishma Kapoor, Mahesh Bhatt, Love Ranjan, Karan Johar and Ayan Mukherjee among others. Reports suggest that the couple will host a grand reception at the luxury hotel Taj Mahal Palace in Mumbai on April 17th. The pre-wedding festivities including a special puja and mehendi ceremony were conducted on Wednesday. Ranbir and Alia had fallen in love with each other on the sets of their upcoming film Brahma Astra. The two made their first appearance as a couple at Sonam Kapoor's wedding reception in 2018. <laughs> Oh, 
And that's a wrap on Vision of Asia tonight. Send us your suggestions and community news that you would like us to cover for our print and television coverage at events at itvgold.com. Follow us on our Facebook handle at ITV Gold. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and pick up a free copy of Desi Talk if you are in the tri-state area or in Chicago area for news on community, entertainment and events in US and India. You can also read the News India Times newspaper online at www.newsindiatimes.com or subscribe to the hard copy by calling 212-675-7515. This is Pia Jyoti Katru saying goodbye.